What's up everyone? I want to take you guys through in a really advanced progression for rowing. Um, it's basically a horizontal pull. And this one's going to really have a very high demand on stability. So it's more or less a core exercise as well. Um, one of those really good bang for your buck exercises. Because it's so difficult and there is so, so much instability, I really suggest starting especially with the lighter weight. And as always, make sure that your rowing mechanics are on point before you just say, all right, this is the hardest one on the EVM, let me do this one. So be smart about it. We're looking for good scapular mechanics. I wanna be able to see that the scapula is actually moving and retracting instead of staying in the same spot and me just actually pulling. I wanna see on the other side that there's protraction of the scapula. What I mean by that is that I'm constantly pushing the ground away from me as I go through the rep. So one side is pushing away, one side is rowing. At no point do I collapse and get weak with elbow bend, okay? The other thing, abs are gonna be pulled in. I'm gonna be actively extending one hip. So what does that mean? My ass is firing, my glute is firing, and I'm able to really kick back strong. As I do that, no lower back arch. Obviously, midline's gotta stay stable. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to show you guys a rep or two. Uh, can't really talk during it, so try to be uh, on top of that. Okay, so setting up, this should really be a, uh, a regular bench and that would be kind of the best situation for us. Uh, but it does, or it's full table actually, but it really needs to be elevated, as you'll see soon. Um, I'm going to start off with my right hand, which is going to mean that I'm going to kick back with my left. So just like the classic bird dog, this hand's going to go ahead and screw into the ground. I want my pit of my elbow forward, pushing the table or the uh, pad away from me. Belly button's pulled in. Now from there, I'm going to have my hand on the side just like this, and then I'm going to slowly kick back. Now, maintaining all this stuff nice and tight and tensioned up, I'm gonna slowly initiate from the shoulder blade, pull all the way through, squeeze the upper back, slowly come down, keeping everything nice and tight, a little bit of reach, initiate from the shoulder blade, pull back, and slowly come all the way down. Uh, so that's going to be the bird dog row. I'd like it for 10 to 12 reps so you can really keep the core on fire while you're working on your rowing with light weight. And first and foremost, as always, just make sure that you're going for really good form and you're keeping everything tight. One thing that you can't see from this angle is my pelvis. Try to see if you can keep it nice and squared. So I don't want it to tip to one side. I don't want it to rotate. I just want it to stay as neutral as possible and I should be able to breathe throughout the exercise. If you want to focus on when to exhale, you can exhale as you row. So give this a try. Hopefully you're ready for it, and uh, we'll keep all this strength stuff coming.